Hey everybody, Jonathan Welton here. You may know me from one of the many books that I wrote, or you might know me from Welton Academy, and uh, you may have met me on the road as I've traveled around the world lecturing in 35 countries, uh, leading teams of students on archaeological tours around the Mediterranean and Greece and Turkey and uh, Egypt and Jordan and Israel and all over the 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 Near East, uh, as well as um, you may know me from podcasting, blogging, uh, YouTube videos, social media. There's so many different ways that I have uh, put my voice out there into the world. You may also know me from my absolute uh, disastrous ministry fall from grace from uh, six years ago. And the last six years, I've really, uh, I've been in a place of hiddenness. I haven't put my voice out there. I haven't been um, putting my face out there in the ministry world whatsoever. Uh, I've really, I've really held back. I've just put a little drop here, there through the year of 2023. But 2024 has something huge in my heart that I'm moving forward with, something that the Lord has been putting on me and has been getting clearer over all of 2023. And as I move into February, as we move into February, I want to tell you about uh, what's coming up. Having led a Bible school that was focused on understanding the whole Bible with incredible clarity, uh, students that were coming out of it by the hundreds that were just feeling like, I absolutely understand the Bible. I finally get it. It makes perfect sense. God the Father makes sense. Even in the Old Testament, the heart of Jesus, the heart of the Holy Spirit, it all comes and makes sense to me now. That has always been uh, the outcome of uh, the teachings that have come out of what the Lord's put on my life. On the other side, it was also a focus on the supernatural, the fivefold gifts, the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, uh, the gifts of the Son, the gifts of the Father how to operate in and function in these things in your life. And so there's been uh, this, this fruit over the years. But as I look, I realize even with all of that, I still had cracks in my foundation, cracks in my life, so that when the storms and the winds and the waves blew, I was not in a healthy place and my life collapsed. My marriage collapsed, my ministry collapsed. It was just devastation. It was devastation for me and everyone around me and outward. I mean, it was ripples of harm and pain. I've been on a journey the last six years since then to really discover what is it that leaders need, because it's not just to have a great understanding of the Bible, but we also, I, I've gone down the roads of inner healing and deliverance and counseling and brainwave therapy and meditation and all these different things. And really, uh, come to put to a place to find something that uh, we need for our leaders, leaders in the body of Christ, because it's not necessary that that leaders are always blowing up. And we're currently, I mean, it, it doesn't matter if you're listening to this today or six months or six years from now, uh, I can say, you know, there's, there's leaders, major leaders that are collapsing in the background of this, of this moment. And, uh, Corruption, financial corruption, sexual corruption, uh, grooming and, and predatory behavior and abuse and all this stuff that, that it's so easy for leaders to fall into with power. Power has a, a dynamic that uh, reveals the cracks that are in our life. And whether you go through scripture, I remember hearing uh, years ago this statistic, you, there's over 500 leaders in the Bible and when you go through the stories, there's only a tiny, tiny fraction, like less than 20 of them, that don't end up shipwrecking their life. Like we have the apostles, and we have Joseph, we have Daniel, uh, but so many others who do something. Uh, uh, Gideon, at the end of his life, he sets up an idol. Uh, we have Solomon, who walks away from God We it, because of all the, the foreign wives he took on. We have... David and Bathsheba, we have so many of these stories, and yet we still don't seem to pay attention to how important it is to get our life right. I think also even God's generals, you know, these books, these stories of these heroes, 
It's not just the Old Testament, the New Testament, but all through church history, leaders that God has raised up who had cracks in their foundation. And over time, the pressure of ministry and life and all of that reveals the cracks and the house comes tumbling down. And when that happens, there's so much hurt and harm and injury that takes place. And so my heart is to see leaders be built up and created that are indestructible, that they are able to weather any storm, that they have built a solid life where they absolutely are clear on the call of God on their life, on the understanding of scripture, but also in the other areas of their life that they have to get right to have a functioning life and marriage and family and finances and fitness and that they are rock solid. That is my heart behind bringing to the body of Christ what I'm calling indestructible leaders. It is not simply a seminary where you're going to go and learn Greek and Hebrew and what John Wesley and John Calvin have to say about the Bible. And it's not a ministry school where you're going to go and learn how to pray for the sick and prophesy and, uh, you know, uh, declare healing and things like that. It's not just one or other. You're going to get all of those things built in but way more than that. There's so much more that the body of Christ is missing. And by going to church for you know two hours on a Sunday morning, most of us are not getting what we need in our life for our whole life to function and work properly, to build that indestructible life. The early church, they were meeting every day. That is, is so much more content and ability to connect and dig deep and challenge and build a life that works. And most of us, it's it, church is just a fraction of our life, and it doesn't give us all of what we need to build a life that makes us divorce-proof, that makes us uh, financially solid and free, that, that takes care of all the parts of our life. And so... Every one of us is a leader in some area of our life. Don't disqualify yourself just automatically. I don't lead a church, so it's not for me. Are you a Christian who's living a life and you don't want the waves and winds to destroy you when the hard times come? That's me. I, and I know that's probably many of you. So if this resonates with you, uh, we are starting in February. We are just days away from this at this point. And maybe you're watching this later. February 2024, that's when we began. February 2024, uh, you can sign up and join us. And if you are in, in the group in February, you get grandfathered in at the lowest price we're ever going to do. It's a monthly membership. And from there in March, the membership actually increases in price. So I encourage you right now, get in now while the doors are open at the lowest price we ever do. And in February, this thing uh, it takes off. You're going to get the first four classes on understanding the whole Bible. And then from there, uh, we also will have four coaching calls. It's one per week. So we have a coaching call on uh, one per week and love to have you come be a part of this and build your 2024 right so you feel solid and know that you're progressing, moving forward, you're growing, and you're you're building that rock solid life for yourself. So I encourage you today, go over to indestructibleleaders.com and click the sign up now or uh, join now button and get yourself on the waiting list. The, the registration doesn't officially open until February 1st, but get yourself on the waiting list and you know, I'm going to do something for you. I'm actually going to send you a free copy of my unpublished book. If you, maybe you already got all 14 of these ones and you've read them and whatever, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Uh, but I have um, The Better Covenant Way. It's a not an unpublished book. It's never been released. I'm going to send that to you as a PDF copy if you get signed up before February 1st and get on the waiting list. So, I encourage you to go check it out today. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this and hear my heart behind this concept.